okay I've already started my (uh) web good alright but for this particular session I will also need my zap which I have already started here and I have tie my zap to my firefox and of course (uh) as usual do your proper login here alright (uh) once you have (uh) login alright (uh) we are gonna go into this secure communication and inside se~ in the insecure communication sorry is the insecure login so (uh) you only have two tab over here the first tab is just the concept and goal so I'll skip that and you go into the second tab now based on the second tab uh, you are just supposed to click in the login button which is this button over here that will send the request containing credential of another user All right, and then you're supposed to intercept it and uh, you're supposed to put in the user ID name and user password over here okay now for this particular session uh, it should actually be done on a real client server environment uh, then you can actually see what is going on but right now uh, you will notice that I'm actually using a local host so I don't actually have an off machine server All right. but anyway I will just uh, go through this then I'll explain what actually happens here now I will intercept this uh, inside this session using the zap so I will just set the break come back to the web goal and click login now the break would actually capture this information here which contain the username and the password as you can see the username is captain jack and the password is black pearl if i want i can actually copy this actually copy this first into a notepad so I don't have to type later on okay and uh, I'll just let it proceed right, nothing happened then using this two information over here that I have obtained I will just put in the username and the password over here and click submit and you can see the congratulation message that you have uh, actually seen this but uh, this is actually sent the username and password is actually sent from this particular form or right, this particular form out now uh, it is say here that uh, you're supposed to try to use a packet sniffer to intercept the request but in order to do that you basically will need to have your client and a real server then your client should send the information over an unencrypted channel to the server right. then how do i know it is an unencrypted channel well uh, in firefox you can actually click this little i information icon here and you will see that it is actually not secure now uh, that is because I'm using HTTP now in the other uh, session okay uh, in the class you will realize that whenever we notice there is a form that is on the HTTP which is actually insecure all right uh, we will always make use of our Wireshark which is uh, over here Okay, we will actually always make use of the Wireshark and try to position ourselves between the target user that we want to intercept with the server right? and uh, this is, can be actually easily done through a wireless network right? uh, you can set up a fake router or a rogue router or some people call it evil twin then you just start to capture the packets so Wireshark will capture the packet and you should be able to read all unencrypted HTTP packet right, inside 
and inside it you will actually find the ID and password that was sent over the network just now all right so that is how you actually handle this particular session uh, but I do encourage you to actually go and uh, learn how to use Wireshark it's a very very powerful tool all right and it does help uh, monitor right uh, the package it actually allowed you to do packet analysis all right so it's actually very very useful whether you are hackers or you are actually an administrator okay so i will end this session here